Hey, it's Andy from Fence Post, the vinyl blog, and today it's one more unboxing video. Today we're gonna to look at Pre-Pleasure by Julia Jacklin. Julia Jacklin is out of Australia. She's been releasing music since 2014. Her first album, Don't Let the Kids Win, came out in 2016, followed by Crushing, which came out in 2019, and now 2022, we have Pre-Pleasure. This is the polyvinyl early bird edition, which came as a limited pressing of 1,500 copies. So let's take a quick look. First off, we have the cover. I like it. I don't know why my copy came with two early bird edition stickers, but oh well. Back, just, you know, simple track listing. You've got photograph, all that kind of stuff. I'm not sure I've seen many that are actually made in the Czech Republic, which is kind of interesting. So I have not yet opened up the gatefold. This does come on a gatefold, um, which I have mixed feelings about for a single vinyl. Inside we have lyrics and a photograph. That's pretty much it. Something that could have been done with a simple insert, but it's cool nonetheless. Inside does come with a download code. The download code is on the other side, so I'm not gonna show it, but um, also comes with a little promotion. So 15% off when you use 15 Pleasure. 15 Pleasure kind of sounds naughty. Let's look at the Cloudy Magenta vinyl itself. Now, I really, really like the look of this wax. But first, it comes with the generic inner sleeve, but what I like about this is it's a little bit thicker than the flimsy paper sleeves. It's, it's more like a, a heavyweight paper, which is nice. All right, so let's take a look at this Cloudy Magenta vinyl. Look at that, that is so cool. And the other side, one thing I really like about this is, is the, uh, the hole goes right through her eye. Um, it's just really cool. So there you have it, Julia Jacklin's pre-pleasure. Now, this album is pretty dang good. The, the one thing I will say is, Crushing was amazing. I love that album. It's one of my most listened to albums in my collection. Uh, it's been a mainstay since pretty much when it came out. I listened to it a lot in 2020 and early 2021. Pre-Pleasure, I don't think quite has the same power that Crushing had. Both of them, however, I think overpower her debut of Don't Let The Kids Win. Time will tell. Um, some albums tend to be growers, and I have a feeling that pre-pleasure is gonna be that for me. So we'll see where it comes in my year-end list. So there you have it, pre-pleasure on vinyl, the early bird edition available on polyvinyl records. As with way too many releases these days, you've got about half a dozen different exclusive and limited edition colored vinyl pressings from Vinyl Me Please to the standard indie uh, record store pressing um, to your generic black 180 gram vinyl. So you have a variety of ones to choose from. You also have international pressings that have exclusivity as well. So, so when it comes down to it, the limited edition exclusivity is becoming less exclusive, less desired, almost to the point where 
it doesn't really even matter anymore what pressing you get as long as you just get a good deal, right? So it's at the point where I'd almost rather just have the black vinyl pressing as long as I get a good deal, unless it comes on a really, really cool looking piece of wax like this. A generic white or magenta or whatever color pressing doesn't really hold much weight anymore. Welcome to 2022. So, what pressing did you get? What do you think of pressing 10,000 different limited edition exclusive vinyl versions? Let me know in the comments. What has been your favorite Julia Jacqueline album? And what's your favorite song off of Pre-Pleasure? Personally, I love End of a Friendship. Uh, and Lydia Wears a Cross, the first single to come off that album. Well, it's pretty dang good too. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other unboxing and album review videos here on YouTube. And I will see you next time.